Hello and welcome to this tutorial for users of the 2016 version of Microsoft Excel on the Mac. In this tutorial we're going to look at something called conditional formatting. So in this example let's just say I would like the film with the highest revenue figure to be highlighted in some way and I want Excel to apply that formatting automatically. So to do that all I need to do first of all is select the range of values where I want that automatic formatting to be applied and obviously in this case it's going to be my revenue figures so I'm selecting the range from D4 down to D10. The next thing I need to do is come to this option here now it's in the style section on the home tab it's called conditional formatting and the name itself gives you a clue as to what it actually does and if I click on the button you'll see we get a menu of choices there and I'm going to come to the second option top bottom rules and in fact what I actually want is this top 10 items so if I click on top 10 items and you'll see there we get a new dialog box most of the settings I can leave as they are so style I will leave as classic we'll look at different style types later format only top or bottom rank values that's fine I've selected top here as you can see and instead of the top 10 I want the top one highlighted so my very top title will receive highlighting and finally I can select formatting options and you can see a preview of the formatting style on the right there so if I click on the drop down here I might only want for example a red fill as opposed to a text color change as well so if I choose light red fill you can see there how it looks and if I'm happy with that I can simply click OK and if I just click away from the selection you will see that now Star Wars is highlighted as the top seller now should that change for example if let's say Raiders of the Lost Ark suddenly gets a surge of popularity and if I change that quantity of rentals from 12 to let's say 16 as soon as I press the enter key watch what happens in the revenue list so as soon as the total updates, providing it's the top figure, the formatting is automatically applied to that value. Now whenever you want to change conditional formatting, it's important to remember you must select the whole range of cells that that formatting is to apply to. So for example, if I didn't like the colour of the cell highlighting and I wanted to change it, I wouldn't simply select the cell with the formatting. If I did that, all I would do is change conditional formatting for this one cell so I must reselect the entire range if I'm going to make a change to the conditional formatting that applies to that range so I'm going to change the cell color to show you how to do that so with the range selected go to conditional formatting and this time come to the bottom and click on manage rules and as you may have guessed every time you set a conditional format for a range of cells you're basically applying a rule to that range and that's why Excel uses this particular terminology where it says for example show formatting rules for in this case the current selection so we only have one rule set right now which is to apply color to our highest value and I like to apply a different type of color so I'm going to come to the bottom left of this dialog box click on edit rule we get a new dialog box leave everything as it is and where it says format with I need to come to the blue drop down button there click on that and click on custom format even though it has a tick already in it you need to click on it again and that gets you the dialog box to make changes to the colors and here I'm going to click on the fill option you'll see font border fill so click fill and there we have the background color that's currently applied and in fact I'm going to change that to something very different a light green so if I click on that you'll see the sample updates now all I need to do is click OK on the selection box for the formatting click OK on the edit rule dialog box and finally if you just move the dialog box into view so you can see it click OK on the manage rules dialog box so there's lots of OK's to click but if I just click away from the selection you'll see the, the simple result there is that the color of my highlighted cell that has the formatting applied is now green instead of red or pink as it looked let's look at some other examples of conditional formatting and one thing to note is that before you apply a new type of conditional formatting it's a good idea to remove the old conditional formatting so if I select the range from D4 down to D10 again and remember you must always select the full range where the conditional formatting is to be applied 
go to the conditional formatting menu and you'll see there second from bottom the option clear rules and you have two options rules from the selected cells and clear rules from entire sheet be careful which one that you choose here if you have multiple ranges with conditional formatting applied all I need to do really is clear rules from my selection so the first option is the one that I will choose so click on that you can see from the selected range that the formatting has been removed again come back to conditional formatting and I'm going to look at the first option in this second section here data bars there are two options gradient fill at the top and solid fill at the bottom I'm going to focus on gradient fill they both essentially do the same thing anyway and what you see is a range of different colors and if I just go and maybe select that yellow color you will see what happens when I apply that particular formatting if I just click away again what happens here is that the highest value has the shading applied to a hundred percent of the cell all the other values are shaded relative to that initial value so you can see for example that the cells from B5 down to B8 are roughly half of the highest cell so you'll see that half of the cell is shaded and you'll see that the lowest value the £11.70 value again is shaded relative to the highest value so the idea behind this is that it's a quick visual reference for people to see whether the values are high or low relative to the highest value in the list I'll remove that formatting again so if I select the range again click conditional formatting go to clear rules and clear again from selected cells click conditional formatting and now let's look at color scales and color scales simply applies different colors to your selected cells depending on whether it's a high value a mid-range value or a low value so for example if we look at the first option here and you can see the tooltip says green yellow red so green will be applied to the high value yellow to the mid-range and red to the lower values the next option along is simply a reverse of the first option so red yellow green instead of green yellow red and some of the options here are two color options so for example on the third row you'll see they have green and yellow and again the second option in that set is a reverse of the previous one yellow green however what I'm going to do is simply apply the very first option and you'll see the effects of that so if I click on that option and then click away you can see there that my highest values the Star Wars and Raiders values are green the mid-range values all the ones in the 15 pound range are yellow and the lowest value there has the red let's look at another type of formatting so again if I reselect that range go to conditional formatting choose to clear the rules from the selected cells again come back to conditional formatting and this time I'm going to come down to manage rules and if you see there in the dialog at the moment there are no rules applied come down to the bottom left click on the plus button there's the new formatting rule dialog under style I'm going to click the drop down and you'll see the other options we've looked at the color scales data bars etc I'm going to select classic and you can see there the option is to format only top or bottom you can change that to other options should they be relevant I don't need to top is fine I'm going to change the 10 to a 1 as you might imagine and I'm going to change the formatting so if I go to custom format two things I need to change here one is the fill color from a pink to a light green and if I go to the font section as well at the moment it's set to red I'm going to click on the drop down for color and choose automatic and then click OK for the formatting click OK to confirm the new rule and there's a new rule applied or appearing in my dialog box I'm going to click the plus button again to add another rule again go to classic make sure that format only top or bottom is highlighted change top to bottom in the drop down in the next row again change the 10 to a 1 and again I'm going to modify the formatting with a custom format so here the fill color I will set to a light yellow or a light orange and again check the font color and just make sure the font color is automatic clearly for your examples you can choose whatever colors you like whichever ones you think are most effective I'll click OK to confirm the formatting OK again to confirm the new rule 
And again, you can see in the dialog, those two rules are now set up. You can change the order if you want to. It's not really relevant here. But if you did want to change the order those rules are applied in, you do have the option at the top right of the dialog. So you can move them down or up depending on what you'd like to do. And finally, to apply the rules, I'm simply going to click OK. Just click away from the selection and there you can see the highest value is a light green and the lowest value is that sandy yellow colour. And I can confirm it's all working by maybe adding a few additional rentals to Star Wars. So change it from, say, 12 to 14. As soon as I press the Enter key, you'll see immediately the green shading jumps to show that Star Wars is my bestseller. One final thing I'll show you here to do with those conditional formatting icon sets. And if I go to another worksheet, you'll see here I've got some monthly sales figures. And I also have these change sections here. So you can see their change is calculated from the previous month. So, for example, in this calculation, we're comparing February to January and seeing there's a £300 increase. From February to March, there's a £250 decrease and so on. Now, what I want to do here is have these figures also have an icon next to the value to show that it's an increasing or decreasing figure. So I'm going to apply conditional formatting, but only to the change cells. Now I'm going to skip the value in C3 because there's no calculation there. And I'm going to select the value in E3. And in order to select only the change values, I need to hold down the command key on the keyboard and that will allow me to select the non-adjacent cells like so. So I've selected four cells there, E3, G3, I3 and K3. If I now click on conditional formatting, come to the icon sets and I'm going to choose that very first set there. So I'll have a green arrow indicating an increase and a red arrow indicating a decrease. Just click on that. If I click away, you'll see now how the arrows give you a really good visual indication of which values are increasing and which values are decreasing. That's another example of how you might apply conditional formatting to the spreadsheets that you're working on. But in the meantime, thank you for watching this tutorial. Hope you found it useful and I'll see you next time.